everybody. It's time to learn about weather. <gasps> weather, weather. What do you know about the weather? Whether or not you think you know anything about the weather, you know a lot about the weather. I know where we live in Southern California, the weather is all, almost always the same. It's always beautiful and sunny and you can play and have fun. But there's lots of places where they have lots more weather. We're going to be learning about weather for a long time. Let's look at this poem. Rain. Rain on the green grass. Rain on the tree. Rain on the housetop, but not on me. Why is the weather not on them? What happened? They used an umbrella. We're going to have lots of fun weather songs and weather information. So we're just going to go over some stuff right now to kind of show you what's happening with our weather unit. So you can observe the weather and be a scientist and watch and see what the weather does and draw pictures about it. There are different kinds of weather. Weather changes all the time. It could be windy. Whoosh, pretend it's windy. Whoosh, watch out. It can be snowy. Pretend it's snowing. Have you ever been to the snow and built a snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? Sunny. Bright and sunny. Put on your sunscreen. Rainy. Hold up your umbrella. It might be rainy. You never know. The weather can change. We observe or watch for changes in the weather and we can make a chart. So this classroom, they made a chart. It was sunny three day, three times on Tuesday it was sunny. One day it was cloudy. You can make a chart. Oh, this lady is called a meteorologist. Whoa, 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 slow down. Meteorologist, meteorologist. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I have enough fingers for all those syllables in that word. Meteorologist. <laughs> Six? Wow, that's a lot. What do you think she does? She looks good. Just, she's just sitting in that chair. She's a model for that cool suit. But wait, she has the er. Ooh, she has pictures. She has a map. It says a meteorologist is a scientist who learns about weather? A scientist. Spoonie asks a question. Hey, why everyone won't be learning enough about science lately? I gotta get my science lab coat on, put on my science glasses. Let's be scientists and learn about weather. Can you help me? Be a scientist. Let's see what this says. Measuring warm and cold. <gasps> Did you know there's a thing? Here comes another big word, get ready. Thermometer, thermometer. Spoonie asks a question. What's a thermometer? Hey, Spoonie. Hmm. What do you think a thermometer does? Do you know? Can you figure it out? Hmm. Hmm. Have you ever had your temperature taken? Now they have those fancy ones that you can't even see the red stuff go up. But in the old days, we had these kind of thermometers that told you how hot or cold something is. Woohoo! We use tools to measure weather. We can find out how warm or cold something is. Told you. We can see how much rain falls and which way the wind blows. This catches the rain. This tells how hot or cold it is. This turns when the wind blows it. That's kind of fun. Those are tools. Thermometers. Oh, look at all these different kinds of thermometers. A thermometer helps us know how hot or cold it is. There are many kinds of thermometers. We're going to learn a lot. Wow. And then we have the seasons. We've been talking about Mr. Vivaldi, and he wrote music about the seasons to make you feel if it was cold or hot or if spring was coming. Thank you, Mr. Vivaldi, for the seasons. Here they go. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. There you go. Seasons change over the year. Seasons always follow a pattern. What's a pattern? Something that repeats. What season comes after summer? Winter, spring, summer, 
Did you say fall? Good job when the leaves fall. We're gonna learn a lot about the seasons and have fun with that. In the spring, warm weather helps plants grow. Many animals are born. Oh, that's nice. Baby animals in the spring. Yay. Love it. What happens in the summer? Summer weather is often hot. Whew. Oh, it's so hot. Make sure you drink a lot of water. Plants grow bigger. Grow plants grow. You do it. Grow plants grow. Grow big and strong. Young animals grow and learn. Do animals go to school? They learn from their families, just like us. You can learn from your family. Animals learn from their families. All right, fall weather. Have you ever thrown the leaves or jumped in the leaves? Fall weather is cooler. Leaves, nuts, and fruit fall from trees. Animals get ready for winter. So they're flying south for the winter. It's time to harvest the apples. It's time to play in the leaves. Winter weather is often cold. Now where we live in Los Angeles, it's winter right now, but guess what? It's not even cold. Many trees lose all their leaves. Guess what it's called when they trees lose their leaves? Ready for a big science word? Be a scientist. Spoonie ask a question. What's that called? Spoonie, it's called deciduous. Deciduous. Can you say deciduous? Deciduous trees lose their leaves in the winter. But don't worry, they're just resting. They're not dead. They're going to come back again in the spring when the sun melts the snow and the tree knows it's okay to be ready for the next season. Some animals change in winter too. They do. Maybe they try to camouflage or something. Or they get warmer coats. Look at those warm coats. Look what they're wearing. Look how that changes. Do you remember when we, when I did that song for you? In warm or wintry weather. There's so many good songs we've learned for that. We did chicken soup with rice in January. It's so nice. What are some kinds of land and water on earth? Oh, we're going to learn about the mountains and the valleys and the rivers and the lakes. That's coming up. In what way does weather change? Hot, cold, in the between? How can people help take care of the earth? Do you take care of the earth? Do you reduce, reuse, recycle, recycle, recycle? Well, there are so many good books about weather. This one says weather. And I won't keep you too much longer, but it says things like, when it is cold, we can go ice skating. So it has fun things like that. There's this one that says, I am water. And it tells you all the things that water is important for and how we should take care of it. I am water. This one you got to hear. It looked like spilt milk. Oh my gosh. Have you ever looked it up in the sky? This is a sky book. That's why it's blue. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk but it wasn't spilled milk. Sometimes it looked like a rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. What do you think's gonna happen? Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Sometimes it looked like a flower, but did you say it wasn't a flower? You're right. Ah, sometimes it looked like a pig, but it wasn't a pig. Sometimes it looked like a great horned owl, but it wasn't an owl. Sometimes it even looked like a mitten, but did you say it wasn't a mitten? Sometimes it even looked like an angel, but it wasn't an angel. Sometimes it looked like spilled milk, but it wasn't spilled milk. It was just a cloud in the sky. Have you ever gone out and looked at the clouds and thought about, that cloud looks like a dinosaur. That cloud looks like my dog. That cloud looks like Spoonie asked a question. It's time for science. <laughs> Magic School Bus does a really fun movie about storms. 
that's really cool. You could have a, an adult help you look that one up. Magic School Bus kicks up a storm. And there are so many really cool scholastic news about weather. There's this one, Backyard Birds. Fun with ice and snow. Ooh, why is there a lion? Wait a minute. What? Because in March, you're going to find out, there's a saying that says, March comes in like a lion and out like a lamb. That's because when March starts, it's winter. And it's thunderstorm and scary and snowy. And then at the end of March, it's spring. Ah, like a soft lamb when the leaves are changing the flowers are coming back and then spring comes there's one that says what a windy day charlotte diamond song it's a windy day the wind is whispering what's oh this goes with my cloud book check it out what weather will the clouds bring that's fun those are different kinds of clouds you can learn about that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we have. Water, water everywhere. Let's find out. Most of our earth is covered with water. Where can you see it? Where is water? In a lake. Oh, make a big lake. I'm ready for, you're ready for, we're ready for puddles. Jump in the puddles, make a big lake. How about the ocean? Let's see what else they have here. Ooh, have you ever seen a waterfall? <gasps> Beautiful waterfall. Wait a minute. Why does the water fall? Wait a minute. Spoony asks a question. Why does water fall? Why doesn't it just stay up in the air? Because we learned about something called gravity. If we didn't have gravity right now, you know what I'd be doing? Don't freak out. I'd be floating around. I'd be trying to teach you while I'm floating all over the place. <laughs> That'd be crazy. What if you were floating all over your house while you're trying to learn? You're like, hey, hang on. I got to get down here where I can see what Mrs. Farley's doing. And there's a river. Look at the bears crossing the river. I love it. This is a pond. And, ooh, a swamp. Who's in the swamp? Watch out. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. See you later, alligator. I think that's enough weather for today. You're probably tired of that. So, I hope you had a blast figuring out we're going to be learning so much about weather because it affects the whole earth. Where is my earth? It's upside down. There you go. Weather and the earth is awesome. Mountain. Mountains and valleys and weather. Oh my, have fun. See you next time.